Hi everybody, it's your Pilates instructor Alana and I am here to do another tutorial with you. So we're doing our stomach massage flat back. So we've already done our stomach massage round and it's a series. So it's your round, your flat back and your reach and then your twist. So um, I'm going to use the pad. So I noted in the previous video, pads are optional. Without the pad, it's gonna make it that much more challenging to stabilize. I like using the pad. And for this one, it's also important to note your springs. So you take your springs down as you work through the series. So whatever spring you started with for your footwork is what you are going to do for your round. So let's say if you were on a Graz reformer or any reformer actually, and let's say you use four springs. So you would load up all of the springs for your first round. For your second one, which is your flat back, you would take a spring off. However, if you are like me, I do my footwork on three springs. So I'm actually going to keep it on the three springs for my flat back. So I'm going to put my pad down. And again, in the last video, I said, I like, this is personal preference. This is me, this is nobody else. I like keeping my pad um, horizontal ways. That is just me. Okay, so I'm going to take a seat. And once I come into it here, Again, do the same foot position you did with um, your round. I work in parallel, so I keep my feet in parallel. Um, another common option is heels together. That's really your only other option. So from here, when you're in that round position, you would slide your hands back. Now, everybody is different. You are going to encounter so many different body types, and it's perfectly fine to do whatever makes sense for the body in front of you. So use your own body, obviously, as your first example. So for me, I take my hands onto my shoulder blocks. However, some people, when their hands are on their shoulder blocks, they're here. Whatever is going to get you up and lifted and extended in your spine is where you can be. So for some people, that could be here. Some people, that could be here. Some people may have a pole in front of their shoulder blocks and they can take their hands out and that helps them sit up taller. So play around with what makes sense for you. Again, I am going to be here. I have seen some people do this. I prefer this. And once I'm here, note that I'm not sinking into my arms. So my arms are just a vehicle to help get my chest and my spine upright. And I'm lucky, I've got these mirrors right here so I can really look to see, is that straight? My chest is up and here we go. I'm gonna keep my arms locked in place. Inhale out and exhale in. So I'm pulling the carriage in every single time. I'm nice and lifted. The shape of my spine doesn't change. And it's an inhale to press out. Breathe into your chest and exhale in. Out and in. One more. And in. Okay, so that is your flat back in your reformer order, it kind of is the first exercise um, that really gets you that extension in your basic reformer. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, leave some comments below. Let everybody else know what you're thinking because they might have the same question. If you want to get in touch with me, find me on my Instagram, alana.moves, or find my website, boapilates.com, where you can take a lesson with me. Until then, kisses and Pilates.